Could you please introduce yourself? Artificial intelligence AI, is a field of computer science and technology that focuses on creating systems and machines that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. These tasks include learning from experience, reasoning, problem solving, understanding natural language and recognizing patterns. It feels like AI arrived in an instant. But the quest to build a machine that can think like a human is centuries old, with long gaps between advances. Before teaching machines to think, however, humans would need a better understanding of how humans think. And with steam, gears and endless moving parts, early mathematical engines mirrored the industrial revolution they emerged from. But it became clear that moving beyond simple calculations to human intelligence was going to require an inconceivably large machine, or a jolt of electricity. The invention of vacuum tubes in 1904 made possible the first electronic calculations, but it was the imperatives of World War II that really accelerated this technology. Used to decipher enemy codes and plot missile ranges, electronic processes even began to replace the people, known as computers, who had been previously doing this work. By the middle of the 20th century, it looked like the hardware was ready to take on other human tasks. The term artificial intelligence was coined in 1956 when mathematicians and computer scientists gathered at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. The meeting was a catalyst for the approach called symbolic AI. It's based on the idea that by programming a computer with facts about a subject and the rules to operate on those facts, the system could then generate logical deductions. In the 1970s and 80s, computer programs called expert systems were programmed with facts related to a specific task, emulating a human expert. AI joined the corporate workforce, taking on record-keeping, accounting, and even sorting the mail for the US Postal Service. In 1997, world chess champion Garry Kasparov lost a historic match to IBM's Deep Blue. For the first time, artificial intelligence had outmaneuvered an expert. But with symbolic AI, it took an enormous amount of programming time and computing power to master a single human activity. The machines were still no match for the complexity of many problems humans can easily solve, and scaling up to a system capable of general knowledge seemed a long way off. But in the 1980s, the arrival of cheap personal computers pulled the plug on the old single-purpose AI machines, while paving the way for another field of AI study. Connectionist AI grew out of research into how a brain uses neural networks to learn. Brain researchers were discovering that rather than processing symbolic expressions in a machine-like way, our thinking brains use networked patterns of activity. In a human brain, information entering our neural network adjusts the strength of connections between the neurons it passes through creating a system that can learn and make predictions. Similarly, artificial neural networks do not require programming with rules and facts, but can discover them, just as humans learn by association and through feedback. Deep learning algorithms enabled computers to recognize and process patterns in data, leading to remarkable achievements in image and speech recognition. The computer was clearly ready to learn, and computing power was growing exponentially. It was not until the development of the internet and smartphones that the vast amount of data required to train certain systems became available. AI began to recognize our voices, to carry on conversations, and to appear almost human. The capabilities of both symbolic AI and neural networks have merged in today's chatbots and autonomous vehicles, and AI is evolving rapidly as it is combined with other technologies. 
Training in some areas of machine learning will take much longer. It will take millions and some say billions of miles of training before self-driving cars are considered as safe as human drivers. But we have now reached a moment that even some AI researchers expect it to be far in the future. Experts foresee major advances in healthcare and drug discovery, weather prediction and fluid production. Yet, even among AI's proponents, there are great concerns about the harm these powerful technologies could cause. Use in warfare, massive job displacement, surveillance, discrimination and copyright infringement are among the many ethical challenges posed by AI. We have shaped these tools in our likeness. It remains to be seen how they will shape us.